So today I will be getting a small demo of how to use Anki on your uh, Kindle. Well, this is done after a few steps. First, you need to jailbreak the Kindle. You need to activate the SSH daemon over wireless internet or USB net. I use wireless. Then you have to install the K Kindle VNC viewer. Install Kite to be able to launch it unless you want to launch it over SSH. And then finally you launch a VNC server and from there on you can launch whatever you want. In my case, I'll be demoing how Anki works. I'm assuming you already have Anki installed and all this stuff set up. So you've jailbroken your Kindle and you have everything prepared. So what I'll first be doing is I'll launching a VN, v, a VNC server. Then I'll hook up locally to it. This is already set to be um, the size of the uh, Kindle. And you can see the effect we get is more or less... Well, I need the password. So here we have can center it by hitting F1, and this is what we'll be seeing on the Kindle. So one of the main issues here is input. The Kindle, in my case, the Kindle 4 only has a few buttons, so we cannot really fully control Anki without creating a plugin. So to keep things simple, I'll assume we open the, the thing, and then we have a few key bindings that will help us do our reviews, our daily reviews in order. Okay, so now here I'm going to launch the VNC viewer on the Kindle. You can notice it's a bit buggy because it doesn't really refresh, but if I move the mouse around, you can see that it sort of appears. But once we open a deck, it should refresh properly, and here we have it. Now, here I'm using the mouse to, to set it up, the study session. So once we get in, now we're more or less fine. Now we can switch to the Kindle. I've done some bindings, so we can more or less control it. So in this case, we'll be looking for netting. Click this button. This button shows the the card, and we can see it fine. So this will let us study by practicing the writing, and we can also go down and up in the card, and we can also give it uh, the the ease we want. So the center button would be default, and then the different ones would give us different difficulties. In this case, since this is uh, uh, a card I, I failed earlier this morning, we only have two options, which is uh, good or again, and in this case I would hit, and would go again. And this would continue. Of course, if we want to change decks or when we're finished, we have to do this by using the computer again, but while we're away, we can do other things on it. And the good thing about this is you can see that we can use different fonts, we can use anything, and since it's not actually running on the Kindle, it's running on the computer, well, we have a lot more freedom on, on working and using more complicated things. For example, my cell phone, I run out of RAM when I use so many fonts. But anyway, anyway, here you can see it's it's running on the Kindle and it's great and good for that. So, I mean, I'm very happy with this and this was the reason I originally bought a Kindle, but I've never really gotten it working up until now. And to exit again, you just use uh, Home and this would log out again and you'd still have it open up here. So anyway, that was all. I hope you enjoyed this, and good luck with uh, being an inky slave.